Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. I went to a garage sale. Well, it was one of those estate sale garage sales and they had a big sign out front. And it was the last day of the sale, so they were offering pretty good discounts on things. So I bought something. When I saw this sitting on the table, I naturally opened it. And the $20 price, it was sitting on the half off table. When I opened it, I said, wow. Picked it up, walked out front, gave him the 10 bucks and walked out to the truck. Now you look at this and you go, well, oh, it's a set of taps and dies. Well, they're Craftsman Taps and Dies, made in USA. I don't know anything about them other than that. And not everything is of the same quality. This is not a Craftsman level tap handle. This is just one that happened to fit in the box that they stuck in there. Now, I was told by somebody long, long ago that the hex ones are only thread chasers. They're not thread cutters. Now these are actually thread cutting dies. The unique thing about them, every one of them is metric. Yep, it's a full metric set. Except the taps, this is a 3816 Craftsman. This is a 5 16th 18 Craftsman. And this is a Craftsman 10 millimeter. This one, I couldn't tell you what it is. Can't read the numbers. It looks like they're a mixed bag of SAE and metric. And that's okay. I got a lot of taps. I have a full set of uh, Imperial taps already. And I have a full set of Imperial taps and dies already. But this set of uh, Imperial dies is nowhere near the quality of these. You can tell that by looking at the tap handle. Totally outmatched. But I use these and these are more thread chasers. They're not really good dies. They work if you're very careful. And if you use this anchor lube, which I've mentioned several times, these dies actually work pretty well. So now I can, uh, chase and thread ODs for most metric sizes up to, let's see what's the largest one here. Oh, that's an eighth inch pipe tap. So that's not, that's an eighth inch pipe die. That's not the biggest one. This one is a 12 millimeter. So I can thread up to a 12 millimeter. Now, there's more numbers to a, a metric thread than just 12 millimeter, but that's what's written on the die. So I was very pleased. I think I did quite well. Now, I need to clean up the box a little bit. But now, my capabilities have expanded immeasurably, especially since I bought a Chevy pickup. I bought a Chevy Colorado. Now, it's not really a Chevy as I know a Chevy. Uh, it's a 2012. It's made by Isuzu, and it's been rebranded as a Chevy Colorado. That's the normal thing now that everything's been shipped overseas to be made and then brought over here to be sold. It's funny, they take the jobs and then they take the money and we just keep going. 
but I bought it used. I don't feel quite so bad about buying something used because I'm not supporting the guy who made it quite as much. Yeah, okay, I'm kidding myself. Buying it used is just as bad as buying it new. But I didn't know it was an Isuzu. Blame me. Should have looked. But it uses metric threads on nearly everything. Drain plugs on up. Yeah, the drain plug takes a 13 millimeter wrench to open it. Can't even do the old dodge of, well, a 15 is the same thing as a 9 16 Nope, not gonna work that way. I would, maybe a 14 is the same as a 9 16 It's been a while since I tried to, to cross-reference. I do have a full set of metric wrenches, and now I have a full set of metric threading dies, and uh, some metric taps, and I'll probably be picking up more metric taps as time goes on. Uh, when they're starting to enter the, the uh, antique tool and uh, garage sale market, they've pretty much penetrated everything. They're all the way down to the point where somebody has had them long enough to die with them. So that's my garage sale find for today. To quote Gator, there's better ones coming. Why not hit the subscribe button and ring that notification bell. That way you'll be told when the next video is coming up. But I can tell you, they come up every Monday through Friday at 12 noon and 9 a.m. on Saturday and Sunday. You guys like to get up a little earlier on Saturday and Sunday. It gives you time to wake up, drink your coffee, and watch a video. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching. This video is not to be viewed by anyone under the age of 13 in the U.S. or 16 in the European Union without the express written permission of the parents or legal guardians of the underage person. Such written permission must be on file at the local government entity in charge of enforcing the rules and regulations established by the FTC. Anyone violating these terms is admitting by default that they hold harmless the owners and operators of this channel. Any and all questions should be addressed to your local branch of the FTC.